Hello, my potential dropouts. So today I wanted to make another video. This time it's not fully related to engineering. Um, it's more a self-reflection on life again. I think on this YouTube channel, I realize that it's going to be a lot of these kind of reflections on life that's going to apply to you and your life and directly on how you treat your studies and your life as a student. So it's very much very relevant to uh, this whole degree you're doing, you're chasing, and your life after your degree. So yesterday night, I had this random thought, right? And I thought to myself, you know, right now I'm 22, and I'm looking at a lot of my friends around me. And everyone is not at the same place in their life right now. You got some homies that's doing terribly. And then you got some homies that's straight up right now. I got a lot of friends who started very successful startups with million dollars of funding by now. I have other friends who are doing their dream internships, let's say in Silicon Valley. I'm taking the case for engineering students right now. So, you know, those very cool internships in Silicon Valley, they're, they're building rockets and cool cars and shit. And not just Silicon Valley, any other place with cool engineering internships, right? In other countries too. Some are studying abroad. Some are having a time of their life. Some already are rich. They they made their fortune already off of, I don't know, trading, off of starting businesses, off of, like, there's a lot of friends who are doing very well in life. And then you got your everyday person in their 20s at around 22 and they're, they're just still at school, just doing okay, doing normally. But I wondered, like, I asked myself, like, why is it that suddenly you blinked and then your friend back in high school who was at the same in the same cafeteria as you, eating the same lunch right now, their life is completely different from yours. It's very much a very awakening kind of reflection because you know if it doesn't even make you feel something it makes you think at least but if you feel something you're either feeling you know frustration you're probably impressed whatever the case you are impressed even if you hate it or if you like it you're probably impressed maybe you're jealous maybe you're inspired i'm fucking inspired that's what i'm not mad at my friends doing better like I'm very happy to see that this is possible they're showing me that this is possible and if I'm approaching life a little differently right now from now on I can kind of approach this state and it's also kind of too quick to judge you know they might have their own challenges in life their own headaches because let's say the homies who's running a startup I bet that he has that much free time compared to your usual friend there's gonna be sacrifices you make but it all depends on what you personally want to be doing who you want to be as a person in your 20s it's you're just in your 20s so don't even stress too much about that it's just about your level of ambition where you want to be right now where you see yourself being also you know do you want to treat your parents and help them retire earlier something like that you know take your girlfriend somewhere nice so it's about really just what you want out of your life and these friends showing you that whatever you want it's possible but now it's the question of why is it that you're not there yet that's when i started doing a thought experiment on myself and i realized that it was all about your personal beliefs about yourself and the world around you, what you believe in. It's pretty trivial. It was a step-by-step -step kind of thing. It was like, this is where I'm at right now. This is who I am, who I believe I am. And this is the environment I believe I'm in. And this is the whole reason why this is how I am. I'm not a philosophy student i'm not in philosophy i don't read philosophy so i don't know if this is parallel to any philosophers thinking it might be but this is purely from my personal 
reflection so i don't know i'm an engineering student but i love philosophy i just don't have time to be reading philosophy every day basically my philosophy in my own life it's all kind of just personal conclusions and i'm not like trying to like emulate any philosopher's framework of thinking it's really just this is how i realize things you know so your beliefs about yourself and your environment and that's what's been applying boundary conditions to your life in a way not everyone's in an actual physical prison but everyone's kind of constrained by a spiritual slash mental prison and if you feel like you're fully free it's because you didn't think big enough yet to hit those walls of a prison because everyone is within kind of some limitating beliefs and um that was when i realized that the reason why someone might not have been fully in the place that this other person is in right now is because of these beliefs most probably of course let's not talk about you know the case where it's like okay let's take donald trump with a small loan of what like five million dollars or a million dollar like except those cases where they have external resources helping them all right because these friends that i know they they started from root zero they they're not from like extremely rich families and stuff these are friends that are, they literally just built this from scratch and that's why it was even more inspiring because it's an everyday person that got to that point they put in the work they learn things they learn how to execute things and they got shit done so it's very much something that you can do too it's it's very much like let's go back to the framework of you know what you believe in so if you believe you can't do this you you, you, you won't be able to you gotta just think bigger and realize that this is not the truth this is just what you set yourself to believe is true and if you change that then you're gonna be open enough to try to find a solution to get to the next step if your belief was there in the in the first place you wouldn't even consider thinking and solving this problem but if you take away that wall at least you start thinking and then all of this kind of relates to your own pursuit of freedom and happiness you know you can never fully be fully free you know even those very successful people they're still fighting the next layer of prison they're in but the more layers you break out of the more room you have to be breathe the more room you actually have to be happy and move around and be free you know mentally so really the, th the secret every day to you trying to better your life might simply be to just try to reflect a bit it can be something long term it can be f something short term it can be something about your day what's something that's kind of stopping you what's what's a wall that you're facing right now realize identify it try to break out of it Let's take some examples because this is very, you know, blurry right now. But let's take an example. You feel like calculus 3 is hard. First of all, stop telling yourself that calculus 3 is hard and start telling yourself it's just because I haven't practiced enough problems. I didn't find the good resources to learn this properly. I didn't have a good prof maybe. I didn't or I wasn't a good, you know, learner of this subject. I didn't I wasn't listening well in class. I wasn't listening enough in class. I didn't watch enough YouTube videos that's going to help you build your intuition. There's so many things you can do to improve in calculus 3, especially in calculus 3. It's such a well-established subject. People have been learning this shit for ages now. They all survived calculus 3. You can do it too. There's all the resources in the world, especially when the internet is around. Just find your resource and get that shit done. So it's really just like these walls that you're facing every day. 
it's mental friction is mental weight you know you don't want to think about it because it makes you feel mentally tired but the moment you break out of these walls you're, you're taking this weight away from you and you, you actually better your life a bit more a personal kind of belief that's kind of stopping me from executing more in my life right now in my personal case it's i'm trying to do a startup and in the beginning i was telling myself dude i have no idea what the fuck i'm doing i'm an engineering student i don't have a business background my parents don't have a business background they're all in stem they're all in engineering and it's like okay now what i don't know shit about incorporation accounting and the laws paying for lawyers contracts shit all of these shit all of like getting business done but then i realized i just have to learn it it's really just step by step learning why am i beating myself up over the fact that i don't know something that i can just learn i don't know accounting learn accounting i don't know how to conduct a, a business yet take a minor in entrepreneurship which is what i did it's all step by step things that's solving these problems and breaking those walls and right now i can tell you that after half a year i already know so much more in my entrepreneurship journey another anecdote that i realized i basically applied this whole framework to better my life was when there was a clear shift academically in the past year or two so if you know my story right now if you're watching this on youtube and you see that you know i only have a thousand subscribers is because i haven't been posting on youtube at all in the past three years my original platform is from tiktok and then i moved to instagram also and on tiktok i have right now as of today in 2025 january 6 157,000 followers and uh i go by the potential dropout because originally i started documenting my journey as an engineering student in mechanical engineering at mcgill university and the name is pretty obvious right i wasn't the best student i was failing my classes i have three F's in my transcript. I have withdrawn from another class that I then retook a year later. I had to delay a final exam and then that exam I took in the next semester and then I failed it and then I had to redo it. Effectively, I took that class three times and if you want to know which class it was, it was dynamics. I ended up getting what in dynamics though? If you followed my series of day in the life of an engineering student, you know that I ended up getting 98, which was usually unheard of in dynamics. People, the class average usually for dynamics is a C, but I put in so much work that by the end, I was able to tutor that subject perfectly to students and make them ace it. It was really the fact that in the beginning, I, I, I was telling myself, I'm, I'm too hyperactive. I can't focus. I can't do this. I can't do that. I just simply can't focus. This is too fucked up for my head. These concepts. Oh my God. Engineering is so hard. No, 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 no. And I was complaining a lot. I was saying, oh, it's because the teacher's bad. Oh, it's just because, bro, I'm not in a state. It's also because I was going through some shit during that time in life. So mentally, I wasn't doing the best. And because of that, I was using also that as an excuse you know, not because I wanted to, I didn't realize it, but I was using that as an excuse for myself. I was saying like, I was practically depressed and I was like, I can't focus while being depressed, which I'm sure there's some truth to it. But at the end of the day, it was, I snapped out of it. And after snapping out of it, I realized I just had to really lock in, practice problems till I puked, put in the hours. I had some smart classmates. If they put 10 hours in, I'm going to put like 30 hours in even if it meant me achieving the same grade as them only, or maybe even lower, who knows. But whatever the case, it was the fact that I stopped like using all these excuses and I actually just started doing the fucking work and it worked. 
I stopped blaming the profs. I stopped blaming the fact that it's a hard degree. I just put in the work, which was exactly what you're supposed to do as a student learning a class, right? And ever since that, I haven't filled a single class, even though those classes that I've been taken after, it was even harder. It was even more cursed. It was the mo most fucked up classes. But even then, I went through all of this hazing and I didn't fail any of them. Even if it meant that for some class I got a C and not an A, it didn't matter. I found out about the formula to not failing. It was just stop with the excuses and just start putting in the work. I know there's a lot of gurus out there on the internet telling you about study methods, Pomodoro technique, na 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 na, second brain. Oh, oh. <laughs> just lock in, get in the zone, deep work, deep focus. There's no technique besides just putting your all, all your intention in this. And if you really are like a severe case of someone with ADHD, take your medication or something and then lock in. It's really simple. There's no shortcut. You got to stop trying to find the shortcuts. Just don't take the shortcut. Do it a long way because that's the only way where you're actually learning. Now, before I finish the video, I want to tell you something though. You got to also just be careful before you start stressing out about the fact that you're not in the same place as your successful friends. You got to also realize that what they want out of their life is fully different from what you want out of your life. It might be similar in some ways, but they're them. They have their own life experience and you're you and you have your own life experience. You want to live your own truth. So it's not something you should be stressing about what you need to take away from this really is just they're showing you it's possible for you to change your life around to achieve what you personally want out of your own life it's never been about them and where they are it's about yourself okay and if you want to be some kind of quantum physics conspiracy theorist wasn't it said or something it might be bullshit right but it might not be bullshit who knows it wasn't it said that basically everyone's kind of just living in a simulation it's all just a hologram of your own consciousness something like that everything around you isn't even real it's all made up by you yourself so if those friends are made up by you yourself and the world is made up by you yourself you own this shit just start playing the game right so this is the end of the video and uh, it's gonna be just the usual end of the video quick promo. If you wanna support me, it's on Patreon. If you wanna see my original day in the life of an engineering student series, it's on TikTok. And the vibes are super different from whatever I'm doing here, all right? This is the more mature tone I'm taking in a day in the life of an engineering student on TikTok. I'm just going insane at 3 a.m. over my homework and I'm screaming over them. It's pretty entertaining, so go watch it if you haven't already. If you if you come from there, welcome to YouTube. If you want to see the, the series, but you can't have access to TikTok in your country, but you have access to Instagram, a lot of the episodes, the later on episodes, are posted on Instagram also. And I post a lot of funny memes every day on Instagram related to engineering and STEM. And uh, if you need a very strong and fun community to to be in that's going to support you and it's all you know people in university all students and most of them are in stem and engineering join the discord and all of these links are going to be attached under this video if you're watching on youtube if you're watching a repost on tiktok or instagram just head to my youtube all right with that being said thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video, you're... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to get this uh, channel monetized. So every minute that you spend watching my videos is very appreciated. And that being said, lock in and never lock out. Practice problems till you puke. And I wish you best of luck this semester.